you can see how many plants have died since I've moved in here. Not many, just two. That one and the little, or actually it's a big pot. And the big gray pot, dead. It randomly, I woke up one day, no leaves. I was like, what happened? They were scattered all over the ground. It literally turned black overnight. I don't know what could have caused that. Maybe it just rejected me as a person. That's fine, it wouldn't be the first time that's happened to me. There's, actually it might be hiding. There's one more pot up here, a little terracotta pot. That one was like, okay, so that was one of those plants where like it got really ugly every time it needed water. Like it would just wilt so dramatically. And it got to the point where like that would happen so quickly throughout the week. And I'm so lazy when it comes to my plants, even though it might not seem like it because I have a lot of them, I honestly treat them like garbage. Like I only water them once a week if then even. Realistically, I'm on the once every 10 day schedule. Anyways, so it would get like so ugly every time that like I wouldn't water it every three days because why would I do that? So I, I kind of like let that one die. Honestly, I was like, you're ugly and I don't want to deal with you anymore. So that one, there was some beef there and that's fine. That happens. You know what? You're not gonna mesh well with every plant out there. You know, sometimes you're gonna get a plant and you're gonna be like, oh my god, this is so cute, so fun, sexy even. And then you bring it home and you're like, what? It, why? Why are you doing this? Why do you have so many fungus gnats? These are the questions that we must deal with and answer also. Anyways, yes, so this is my house. Why am I showing you my house, you say? Because I'm I'm moving again. Any guesses in the comments? Comments go crazy. Where do you think I'm going? I'm probably gonna like make oh. <sighs> truck backing up. Truck backing up. Why do you literally make me feel like I'm on my last single shred of humanity? There's been a lot of night construction going on. That's not why I'm moving. There's been a lot of night construction going on. There was also a lot of day construction going on for a while and I thought that was bad until the night construction started and I was like, oh, I've never wanted to commit homicide before, but here we are today. This is all irrelevant. Why am I leaving? I'll probably make a more detailed video soon. Where am I going? Also probably gonna address that in the future. I'm just leaving, but like look how cute. I'm like actually really sad. I'm not gonna be living alone in my next place. I can say that. So I'm like very much savoring these last moments. And there's the ambulance. Again, not part of the reason why I'm moving. There's just a lot of sounds. Not part of the reason why I'm moving. I'm never alone in here, truthfully, because there's always so much street noise. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, I know. Um, anyways. Yeah, I'm not gonna be living alone, so I'm like really savoring these last moments of just pure delusion. Because really, like, for the past year living here, it's just been me, essentially, like, instead of living inside of my head, it's like, I'm still living inside my head, but my head is instead, like, a 600 square foot studio apartment, so that I can, like, act out my thoughts, still feeling like I'm in my head, but, like, also in physical reality. <laughs> Does that make sense? I feel like it makes sense in my head, but maybe when I say it out loud, it sounds like a cry for help. Anyways, I, w I worry that I won't be able to be that authentic in my new living situation. Um, not for like any one reason, it's just like when no one else is around, I feel like I can just like fully, the mask is gone, baby girl. <laughs> Again, not a cry for help, that's just facts. That's, and that's with everyone. Like, I'm sure everyone feels the same way. It's just, I love living alone. But also, you know, we'll make a whole video about this. That's not this video. This video is just, look at my house. It's literally so cute. And I always, I love to take pictures of my living space. Anyways, generally, like if it is looking good on a particular day. But like right before I leave an apartment, I always do like a whole ass photo shoot of the space and like the little details that I just absolutely love because I like looking back on that shit. Like whether it's inspiration for like a future house that I have or just like, I don't know, I'm like a visual person. And I feel like when I see pictures of old spaces, it just really feels like I can exactly remember what it was like when I was living there. So since I am leaving this place and this whole place is mine, 
have to document it all because it's really just been like a special little year. My year of rest and relaxation. Expect maybe a video again soon, but look at my house, okay? All right, that's all you're gonna get for now. Have a good weekend, guys.